Welcome back for another quant price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price target areas, give you the price action to expect in the next coming days and also hours and also discuss my long term editorial analysis here on the quant chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And by first giving you a recap of what has been happening on the quant chart, you can see that we saw the all-time high above the $430 mark. And after seeing the all-time high, we started a corrective structure where we had been breaking down in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the $40.1 mark, which is our bear market low. And after seeing that low, we started gearing up where we had been seeing higher prices in this five wave structure having the wave five giving us a high above the 229 dollar mark completing the formation of these larger area to have count one and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a breakdown move in the formation of this wave two whose minimum target areas i have highlighted on the charts using this red target area which is an area that i came up with using the Fibonacci, connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, giving me a minimum retracement area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78, and that is between the $134.4 mark and the $80.2 mark, which is an area that we have now almost fully maximized, and we are breaking down in this ABC corrective structure, where now our wave C has now given us a low at around the $90 mark and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and once the bull market starts we can continue gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 3. We also need to have in mind that there are chances that maybe we don't have a low for the second wave and we might see one more new low for that wave 2. And that could be suggesting that maybe quant might see the 80 point something dollar quant before we can have a low in place and start gearing up impulsively in the formation of that wave 3. And zooming in on the charts so that I can give you the short term price action to expect in the next coming hours. I believe that quant is trading within a channel over here and jumping to the one hour chart to see that better. Over here we have a very nice price channel where I can connect these highs like that. And you can also see that we have the lower side of the channel which has been well respected giving us more than three touch points. And there are high chances that this is much of a consolidation before we can see a breakout in the next coming days. And now the big question is to which direction are we going to break out of this channel and there are two possible scenarios that can play out and the first one is that quant might continue gearing up get above the 20 day ma act as support continue gearing up and see a break out of the channel to the upper side before we can continue gearing up to the next key area of resistance at around the 97.3 dollar mark where we have our next key area of resistance and in case we continue holding below the 20 day MA, then there are chances that we might continue seeing further weakness. And maybe at some point we see a break out of the channel to the lower side. And from that point, we can easily see quant get below the 80, that is the $90 mark. And maybe fully maximize our target area by giving us one more new low at around the 80 point something dollar quant. And once that plays out, then from that point, we can start expecting higher prices in the formation of that with three. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 48 mark, fully supporting higher prices. On the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross, still suggesting lower prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I will be keeping you up to date. 